Hey guys, it's John Schaefer from Iced Earth. I'm super excited. I got uh, my advanced copies of the book in last night and it, it came out fantastic. As you can see, this is what uh, you guys will be getting at the end of January, early February, those of you that supported the Kickstarter. Um, and we have these up at icedearthmerch.com also. Uh, this is, I'm just super proud of this. So, uh, come around here and let's show the people what they're getting. <clears throat> so here's, uh, here's the, the interior part, you know, the slip case. And it's thick. I mean, this is heavy. This is a heavy duty book. Um, a little bio on the back here. But I decided to keep the, the cover art uh, virgin without text, except on the spine, of course. Um, but just to, just to really show off the artwork and look at how killer this black gilding is. I just love the way it, the way it looks. Um, here's the, it's probably hard to see, but that's the vellum tip-in sheet that I signed uh, several weeks ago. Um, you can see these are different colleague comments. So there's there's comments in here from Hansi Kirsch, my partner in Demons and Wizards and the lead singer of Blind Guardian, Matt Barlow, Chris Worland from Sabaton, uh, Stu, Jake from Iced Earth. I got uh, Corey from Trivium, Pear from Sabaton, comment there from Jim Morris. And then it starts to go through the chapters of uh, the band's history uh, and all of the lyrics that I wrote from whatever album cycle we're talking about. And as you can see, the we, we went with a uh, a red tone for the Iced Earth section. And obviously that's the biggest the biggest section of the book. Tons of artwork throughout, cool photos. And um, <clears throat> there's a, a bio by Hakos from Metal Hammer at the beginning of each chapter. He's been studying my career for, since the very beginning. So, um, and then as you'll see here, we get into like the Sons of Liberty section has, it has a blue background. Uh, it goes into the lyrics from those records. And then it goes into the Demons and Wizards section, which Hansi is the, he, he writes, you know, the majority of the lyrics, but there's, there's a few of, of songs that I've written through the years in here. We did that in the green section, kind of a, uh, an ode to the fiddler on the green. <clears throat> um, and then, okay, that's the, the new demons there. So we've got just lots of cool artwork here. There's a purgatory section, which is short because we've just done the one EP. So it's, it's just got a couple songs. Also, uh, you know, Gene writes a lot of the purgatory lyrics as well. Um, and then here's Days of Purgatory, Enter the Realm. Then we start getting into the art gallery portion of the book, which I think is really one of the highlights. There's a lot of the incorruptible art. Um, the versions of uh, Jim Balance cover, they're all in here. You've got the uh, nudity cover, the interior, the exterior one. Um, you know, Felipe Machado Franco did that piece. Uh, this is Emily Levique from France. John Gallagher, John Jang. So there's, it's cool. There's another John Jang piece of the invasion. Um, you know, you'll you'll see. Uh, we got this really great piece by uh, Lucio Perillo right here. Jamie Tindall did that one. So I mean, there's just been some fantastic talent. Monty Moore, uh, my my friend Richard Ortiz did all these tribute pieces. <clears throat> so we've got. You know, this is uh, Batman 251. That's a tribute to that cover. Iron Maiden, Number of the Beast. Um, Spawn, Number One. So we got, you know, this is Sun Kamunaki. She's an amazing artist. This is this piece is called Guardians of the Wicked. Little baby set there. Um, that's also Sun Kamunaki. And, and this is a Tim Vigil piece uh, colored by Roy Young. Really great stuff. Dylan Andrews, also colored by Roy. And then... We, I'm, I'm exposing some of the ships from the Something Wicked storyline in, in a blueprint, and uh, um, John Jang and I, you know, created these and came up with it. The, uh, the you know, this troop carrier and tactical bomber here. So there's, there's a lot more coming in the future. Then we get into the special thanks, and of course, there's the CD, um, which is exclusive to this. Now you can get this book for 
Uh, I think it's $85 at the iceearthmerch.com store. And um, just to give you an idea of what a killer, I mean, this thing, I don't know, weighs four or five pounds, but here's a book <clears throat> that I picked up recently. This is a, it's a hundred dollar tag on this thing. And you're literally getting, getting paper thin, I mean, very thin pages. Mine are at least two to three times that thick. Uh, there's no slip case, there's no CD, and that's a hundred dollar book. So I think, you know, when you look at the quality of this thing for $85, it was 75 on Kickstarter. Um, but whatever copies are, are remaining, you know, you've got, so there's the <clears throat> different covers. This is uh, one of the nudity, co nudity covers. This is normal. Um, this is the, the uh, John Boy Myers cover. Came out really cool. Uh, the black gilding just looks so cool. <clears throat> and then you've got, this is what it would look like, this case wrap. So, you know, good stuff. And um, go back around there. And you, you got the, uh, it's, it's exciting. We got, you know, here it is. I'm super stoked. So thank you all so much for supporting the Kickstarter campaign. These are arriving in the United States and in the UK in the middle of January. And they will immediately go to fulfillment and start shipping. Again, I'm sorry for the delay, but you can see what it's led to. And this is a fantastic product. And I think all of you guys are going to be really, really happy with it. So thanks so much for your support. And uh, we'll be in touch soon with more updates. Take care.